Fresh and locally sourced produce from a farm that's putting the environment first. Molly Real is in Fiddletown checking out Sierra Oaks Farms. Hi, Molly. Hi, good morning. I have to show you these tomatoes. These are called black strawberry tomatoes. Ooh, is that wow. correct? Yes, look at these. Like the way they're they're kind of growing, they look like strawberries. So they turn that purple and then this one, that's ripe for eating. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, it's delicious. So <laughs> take a look at this farm. This is Sierra Oak Farms. Again, as you said, Courtney, we're out in Fiddletown. And this is Corbett, or as uh, he's known around Farmer's Market, Farm Bay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, so, Corbett, what's really uh, incredible about uh, Sierra Oak Farms, if we kind of look around the area, uh, this is what this farm looked like a year and a half ago. Uh, you bought this land last February and uh, kind of created your own little paradise out here. Uh, you grow, among other things, more than 40 varieties of tomatoes. What inspired you to start all this? This had really been a long time coming. I grew up around ag. I went to school for ag and my house in Sacramento was slowly turning into a small <laughs> farm. So. I found this property and it's been a dream ever since. Yeah, let's take a little walk through uh, these rows again, as we're saying, uh, more than 40 varieties of tomatoes that you're growing here. Uh, each one, I mean, not just aesthetically pleasing, but beautiful as well. And that's kind of, you know, when you have a holistic farm, when you're growing varieties of heirlooms, that's kind of what you get, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Always seeking out varieties that have excellent taste. So you are at two different farmers markets right now. Where can people find you? On Saturdays from 8 to 1, you can find me in Folsom on Sutter Street. And then on Thursdays from 5 to 8, my favorite little farmer's market is in Plymouth. Yeah, and that's pretty close to where we are right now. Uh, so I have to imagine, you know, a year and a half in, you're still doing a lot of experimenting, seeing how things grow, what you like to grow. Uh, other than the tomatoes, what are some of the highlights out here on the farm? So the cantaloupes and watermelons oh, are boy. quickly becoming something special. I seek out again very unique varieties and they taste way different than your typical watermelon or cantaloupe. Yeah, and as we can see too, you've got some sunflowers, uh, you have flowers going on too. What is your favorite part about what you've created out here? Honestly, just being able to be out here is my favorite part. It's a beautiful lifestyle to be able to work out here and do this every day. Yeah, and I know we were talking about uh, what's important to you about all of this, and you said kind of knowing the person behind the produce. You know, it's not like going to a grocery store where the tomatoes are coming from Mexico. It's uh, you get to be at farmer's market. The people get to see your face. They get to meet you. They get to know the hands that are growing their food, and uh, it's delicious food, but that probably makes it even more delicious for everyone. Yeah, that's definitely one of my favorite parts is the community being able to interact with the customers and it's super satisfying when they come back and they love the produce and it's really fun uh, working with everyone. Yeah, and you're kind of a modern day farmer in my mind because uh, you're documenting a lot of this on social media, Instagram and TikTok, so you should follow Sierra Oak Farms on those social medias because uh, you kind of documented how you converted the land into this and you have big plans for the future. You'll kind of continue showing people what you're up to here, right? Yes, actually this October, everything you see here is coming down and tearing all this down and I'm expanding it to two acres, putting up more greenhouses. Across the way, we're gonna do ponds, orchards, animals a lot to come in the future very cool well he also has a farm stand right out front of his property we're going to take a look at that coming up in the eight o'clock hour and get a really close look and taste of some of those varieties of tomatoes because gosh we need to look at those a little bit more those beautiful cool purple right mm -hmm. thank you molly thank you molly yeah mm -hmm. all right friends time to grab your beverage vessels and your cameras at home because it is time for the 7 a.m toast on this morning